Hello and welcome to another video where I want to show you how to edit a photo. This time we added a photo into a vintage photo. An info, the products you will see in this video were received free of charge as part of my free creative teamwork for MBK Design. This photo is a photo by me and in this video I will use an older collection from MBK Design called Remembrance and some styles from a new collection Precious and let's start. So I have a photo, it doesn't matter which photo you use and which photo you want to um, edit in a vintage photo. Um, first I will reduce this uh, little red tint in this photo, super easy, I um, already did a video about this. We uh, apply a curves level and then we grab this dropper here for the grey points and click somewhere in your photo which is um, grey normally, like the street, and it's done. And I will flatten this so I have one only one layer. And now let's start. In the Remembrance collection in the Gesso folder is an, an overlay which is perfect to use for this uh, vintage technique. Um, open it and drag it on top of your photo. First I will um, minimize it a little bit. Shift and Alt and minimize it, click OK and drag it on top of your photo. And now it was a little bit too small. Um, it should cover the photo and as best as you can and that's fine. And now we need to make a selection from this gesso. Just click your shift, um, controller command and click in the thumbnail of this uh, gesso. And we need to save this selection. Go to select and save selection. Let's say um, vintage and click OK. Then make your background photo layer active and apply a mask. If we hide this gesso, you can see our photo has the exact uh, shape of our gesso. Make your gesso again active and we change the blend mode to multiply. And now we go to image adjustments and go to the HDR toning. This will flatten the document, but it doesn't matter. We have saved our selection. If I don't know what the settings uh, will do on my photo, I always go to the extreme so I can see um, how it will change the photo. Again, here in the strengths, I go to the extreme and then I look for a good um, setting and no, don't make it too uh, light. And it's fine like this and click OK. And now we need again our selection. This is why we saved it. Go to select and load selection. We have the vintage selection here. Click OK and then apply a mask and we have again our um, selection here. Now we apply a U and saturation adjustment layer and here you can see at the presets this sepia and we will use this. So you can make any changes here with the saturation or the lightness and it's fine like this. And now we go again to our Remembrance collection. There are those transfers in it, which are perfect to create um, this vintage look. Just drag it on top of your photo and place it wherever you want. 
and we have also this um, tr not the transfers the fold corners and these are also perfect for this vintage look and okay and one more uh, let's mm, this one and i will um, rotate this control or command t right mouse click and we rotate this counterclockwise and Okay, and now I will put this in a group so we don't have too much layers. Um, the first layer is already activated. Then press shift and the last layer and drag this to the group icon here. And if I hide it, you can see the difference. So it's, I think it looks nice with this transfers and fold corners. And now we make uh, two copies of our photo. Hide this one for a moment and activate the first copy. And now we will apply styles. So in the um, precious collection are those vintage styles in it. And I will apply one of those vintage styles so this one looks nice yes but i need to change this so we go to the pattern overlay and we double click on this so the layer style window opens and here we can change the blend modes the scale or the opacity so first i will try to find the best Blend mode, let's choose multiply. You can reduce the opacity if you want. And we can scale this pattern. So I will increase it. Okay, like this. And then uh, activate the second copy. And we will apply again a style. This time we will apply the a glitter style from the precious collection again go to this pattern overlay here double click and the layer style window opens and again we change the blend mode this time to soft light and i will scale this to a little bit okay and what happens now the layer with the Vint, uh, with the vintage style is covered so we need to edit this a little bit to see better where the writings are i will reduce the opacity so i can see here and here are the writings of this vintage style activate the mask of this glitter style layer make sure the foreground color is black and we choose just a regular soft brush and we brush over those areas which have the writings from the vintage layer style so that we can see them. Let's increase the opacity. Yes, that's fine now. Okay, and here you have your vintage photo. So if we go to history, I will show you the before, just a normal um, photo. And after you have this vintage look and you can do this with every photo, person, um, landscape, whatever you want. Just try it. And I would like to see your result at the Autology Facebook group from MBK Design. Thanks for watching and bye.